Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, today we have an interesting video. A lot of people want to know if they can use their personal firewall or other firewall with Ubiquity gear, especially Unify. And the answer is, of course, yes, you can use it with uh, their access points, with their switches. And we are going to set up an interface on two different SOFOs. One is going to be on SOFOS XG, which is this, which is a software appliance. And the other is going to be a UTM. Uh, it's a big UTM that serves a lot of people. So I'm going to blur out a lot of that info. But this UTM I've set up on a virtual machine. So it's uh, a test machine. So I'm going to log in. Oh. Okay. So we're in. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up a new interface. And we need to set up a new interface with VLAN. So I'm going to go over to network. And right here we have the big, the big tab that says add interface. These are some of the interfaces that came preloaded with Sophos. Um, but I'm going to add this interface. And it's going to be a VLAN interface. And it's going to go over the port, the physical interface, which is port A, which is on our LAN zone. This is the NIC card that I want to send it out of. Uh, port B is my WAN, so most likely you will not be using that. If you have more than two physical cards uh, on your machine, which if you have a physical appliance you most likely do, then you can choose other ones as well. But I am going to send this over the LAN port where my LAN already resides. So here we go. I'm going to give it a 123 VLAN. Okay. Next, we have to give this an IP. Okay, so we can give it um, a static PPP or your DHCP address. We want to give, you always want to give your interfaces a static address because, well, just the sheer amount of craziness you will go through uh, when troubleshooting if you don't have static assignments is not worth the trouble so if you can give it a static give it a static so I'm going to do let's say 10.10.10.1 simple right and slash 24 which means uh, uh, old C class network okay because it's a static, I can't enter anything here. So I'm just going to click save, okay? And there's a port A123 and it's a VLAN, okay? And it's static and it's on 10, 10, 10, 1, okay? So let's go back to um, uh, zones. Okay, so we have our land zones. That's where our port uh, 123 uh, VLAN is going to come out of as well, along with our LAN. And um, next thing we need to do is set up a DHCP server for this VLAN. Because remember, if you're using a firewall which means you have to provide the DNS, the DHCP and all the network goodness that you usually get from the uh, USG firewall or any DHCP server for that matter. So the interface and the DHCP server are really the key to any network deployment. 
So let's add another DHCP server here. We're going to call it Sophos123, OK? And of course, we are going to select our port, which is VLAN123, right? So I gave you the name that makes sense to me. You can call this whatever you want, naturally. And then you have dynamic IP leads. Remember, it's a slash 24, which means we can assign uh, anywhere between 1 and 254. Usually, I like to assign, um, let's say, 10.10.10. Let's say 50 to 10.10.10. Dot 150. This will give me plenty of DHCP addresses and plenty of place to put anything static uh, below and above the range of uh, dynamic IP lease. And of course, you have the uh, option for static mapping. Uh, subnet mask is slash 24. Domain name, if you have a domain that uses this. Uh, and this is the primary gateway, yes, because we are on this interface 10.10.10.1 so this is the primary gateway before lease time very important when you are in a business where you have a lot of clients coming and going a lot of uh, Wi-Fi usage you don't want the lease time to be a long time you want it to be short because if the lease time is long time you might run out of IP addresses really fast but for me it doesn't really make uh, make any difference because it's my home lab and conflict detection okay you can enable it or leave it as is what it'll do is is going to try to conflict between uh, assigned leases and addresses and and try to resolve those <coughs> next now this xg appliance uh, gives you the ability to uh, assign this as a primary DNS server immediately so it's fairly simple and the next step most likely you can skip okay so let's keep it simple so we have the DNS assigned and the DHCP range assigned to the interface we created on VLAN 123 so save what this means is that this firewall will act as a DHCP server and will dish out the IP range through a uh, LAN port interface. And this is the uh, gateway, OK? All right, so basically what we've done is that we've created a new network. And we pass that network through our LAN port to our unified gear. Next, uh, we're going to take a look at the UTM firewall. This firewall automatically sets up the NAT and the masquerading and firewall rules, unlike the UTM appliance. So, without further ado, let's get into UTM. Uh, this is uh, Sophos UTM uh, SG310, a really big firewall. And we need to set up the same thing. So we're going to go into the uh, interfaces and routing hit on the interfaces and hit add new interface so once that comes up naturally same as before we give interface a name whatever that name might be the type which is a VLAN Ethernet VLAN in this case okay and the hardware now this SG has nine different ports that are going out. My LAN network is on ETH0, so I will leave it on the ETH0, which is fine for me. My VLAN tag is the tag that is the most important, okay? Same as before. I'm gonna give it VLAN of 123. And again, IP address. For argument's sake, let's just give it a 10.10.66.1. I mean, this can be anything that you want, really. 
And that mask is 24 naturally uh, for a sake. And you would hit save. And your interface is created. So we need to go into network services and then into DHCP. So hit DHCP and then hit new DHCP server because now that we have an interface we need to create a new server. So uh, let's start the range because we already specified that our network is 10.10.66.1 as a gateway so we need to give it a dynamic range in that network so let's do 10.10.66.50 and then range end in 10.10.66. I don't know 150 again same thing as before and DNS server is 10.10.66.1 which is same as gateway if you have set up the DNS to act uh, in such a manner and uh, default gateway naturally is 10.10.66.1 which is the interface we just created and if you have a domain you would specify that there and any additional settings your interface at the top is the interface you just created so you would hit drop down button and select that interface and least time again remember least time is important if you have a lot of clients a lot of people coming and going uh, you can leave it at default so like I said don't forget to set up the proper interface the one we just created and naturally hit save now this firewall does not set up masquerading DNS uh, net rules automatically you have to do that manually uh, for the sake of uh, saving time I will skip those here but if you have a UTM you probably know how to do this already if not let me know and here we are in the unify interface of course I have clients set up as a DHCP server and as an interface and all that and XG firewall as well and I have the ubiquity firewall itself as evident here otherwise this would be grayed out right because in my devices we can see it right there unified security gateway and it's the big one okay so for the sake of this let's pretend like this device here doesn't exist and uh, what we need to do is we need to go to settings and uh, go to networks so let's pretend like none of these exist I already have um, guest network on 10.10.10.1 I should have picked uh, a different network um, it doesn't matter and it's on VLAN 11 so this is gonna complicate things I would have to change it uh, to to actually uh, demonstrate that it really works but trust me it works <laughs> so let's create a new network and let's pass it a VLAN 123 so if I was going to create a, a network um, let's let's well, before we can do that you would have a management uh, network here that would be able to talk to your switches and uh, and access points etc so the management network would already exist that probably would be your LAN network or or whichever one of these you know, like uh, your management network would probably be VLAN 1 uh, by default it's always on VLAN 1 on 99.99.99 percent of the gear that you find out there so you would have that management VLAN network or management LAN network however you have your network set up and then you would create a new network with VLAN and because we're not using the unify gear we're only using VLAN okay so VLAN is one two three, right? So we give it a name. Sophos Firewall. You can call it naturally whatever you want. And again, you can enable IGMP snooping or DHCP guarding. Uh, for our purposes, not 
all of that is as important as creating this VLAN only network with this VLAN tag. And then you hit save. Okay, so what this is going to do is this is going to go and uh, tell all the gear out there that there's a new VLAN only 123 on this port. Unfortunately, I've already set, our, set it up in conflict with this zone. So I am quickly going to delete this. But that's really all you have to do with your network to pass the VLAN and then you can actually go to wireless network and uh, if you only have let's say access point create a new wireless network call it whatever and um, in advanced options uh, the, the security is up to you uh, guest policy is entirely up to you in VLAN you would do one two three so it doesn't necessarily have to be network you can only set it up as a wireless network you can prevent it from being broadcast. Uh, you know, you can go through all these depending on your setup. And of course, you can dig in much, much further with uh, 5411 firmware that we have here on our controller. So all you would have to do this is give it a name, enable it, select your poison as far as security goes, uh, either make it a guest network or not, which then you would have to take additional steps, uh, and give it a VLAN ID. So this is the most important. It has to match. It has to match to the VLAN. If it doesn't, of course, it's not going to work. The, the, the uh, name of the network, network that you assign in SSID makes no difference to the VLAN itself. Okay. And then you hit save. And there you've just created a new Wi-Fi serving DHCP from whatever firewall you have, whatever DHCP server you have, whatever DNS you have, on this VLAN in your Wi-Fi. Simple as that. I'm going to cancel it because of that conflict. So there you have it, folks. If you are interested in me creating this same guide for Sonic Wall gear, let me know. I actually have a lot of experience with Sonic Wall. I have an old Sonic Wall NSA uh, appliance, uh, NSA 240 something, laying around. So I could theoretically go through it uh, and set up this same thing uh, in Sonic Wall. Or um, I have edge routers as well. I can take an edge router and set it up that way. Same rules apply, really, because edge router and Unify gear are two different things. Edge router is a self contained unit. And Unify Gear is um, SDN. So I can take an edge router and do the same thing. So if you like this content, please like it so I know that it's worthwhile creating this content. And uh, maybe if you want to su uh, so subscribe as well, go ahead and do it. And I will try to bring this type of content that people are actually using and are interested in because when I go through online forums, I, I find a lot of questions like this. Can I use this? Can I actually create this? And um, the answer is yes. And it always comes down to uh, the interface that you want to use, the zone, and your DHCP and DNS server. And some of the gear requires you to jump through hoops uh, for um, masquerading, for uh, firewall rules, and some are easy, uh, like wizards. That depends on the firmware and uh, software of those uh, appliances and firewalls and uh, physical appliances. So, thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day, as always.